Hi, Jamila. Hello. How are you doing? Doing very well, thank you. My name is Kofi. I'm here with your 23.3 questions. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay. The Arabic meaning of Jamila is beautiful. Do you speak Arabic? Khalilan, just a little bit. Do you consider yourself a social media influencer? No, not really. <laughs> I'm thinking of relocating to Ghana from the diaspora for the year of return. What three things should I keep in mind? Uh, first of all, you should definitely try to visit so that you can test the waters. Secondly, uh, prepare financially because Accra is very expensive. And then thirdly, read beyond the headlines and actually talk to Ghanaians who are living in Ghana. Hmm, that's good advice. Do you know how to write computer programs or software? I learned when I was younger, but I haven't used it, so I'll just say no. Are you single? Yes. Okay, that's good to know. Are you musical? Yes. Um, I used to play the recorder as a kid, and when I was at Wesley Girls High School, I actually helped come up with songs. So I used to do a lot of songwriting in high school. Ooh, that's interesting. Do you have any hobbies? Doesn't everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so what are they? Uh, I like to read. I love traveling. I sometimes cook. I love to eat. And I also like to work out. Oh, that's good. What's one thing many people don't know about you? Oh, one thing many people don't know about me, if I had the opportunity to be the first African woman in space, I would totally do it. <laughs> I would also love to go to even Mars. Yes. <laughs> What's one thing your friends don't like about you? Oh, one thing my friends don't like about me, I think I'm very analytical and that might be a good thing in some ways, but in other ways, it can drive people crazy. Mm, yeah, of course. <laughs> Dead or alive, who would you want to spend a day with? Rumi the poet from the 14th century of Persia. He's my favorite poet, and I would really just love to pick his brain. Oh, nice. Describe Accra in three words. Huh, Accra, Accra, Accra. Huh, that's, that's a really hard question. So in three words, I would say that Accra is a mix of everything great you could possibly want in a West African city. Uh, but at the same time, Accra is also a mix of different versions. Oh, this is not three words. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you could put it in three words, how would you describe Accra? Ah, not yet arrived. Okay. <laughs> describe yourself in three words. In three words, um, creative, mm -hmm. uh, communicator, okay. and traveler. Okay. Pepper them versus sugar them. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> Wache versus jollof. Wache hands down. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I think Muslims make the best wache in Ghana. I think it's actually northerners who make the best watch okay. in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Specifically, Dagombes. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for clarifying that. Your blog, you, you blog a lot. Yes. Have you considered adding YouTube? I actually have a YouTube channel, and um, I've had it since uh, 2006, I think. Um, and so I post there from time to time, but I'm looking to post more often, so check it out. Okay. How do you come up with what to write and how long does it take? Uh, I think I basically pay attention to what's happening around me. A lot of what I write is based off of conversations I've had with people, my life experiences, and also, you know, the things that just stand out to me a lot. So um, it takes me now on average, the actual writing might take like two to four hours. But to actually get a post published can take an entire day because you have to think about photos, videos, editing, SEO. Charlie, being yeah. a blogger in 2019 yeah. is not easy. The story of content creators. Yep. <laughs> What's your favorite video game? I don't have one. What's one project or campaign you've worked on in recent years that you are highly proud of? Uh, so I think that would be the Sisterhood Matters initiative by Circumspect um, and basically what it is is 
It's a platform where African women get to talk about and explore what it's like to be a contemporary African woman today. And it's an inspirational platform. Um, last year, we focused on women's health. Uh, and the year before, we focused on things like productivity, careers, businesses. So look out for the next one in March, April 2020. Mm, looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> what led to the starting of Circumspect? So uh, it's funny that you asked because today is actually the 12th anniversary of our first post Hooray. on Circumspect.com. <laughs> yes, it's our 12th anniversary. And what led to me starting it, I was studying abroad in France. Um, but as always, I was very concerned with what was happening in Ghana. And so I decided that I wanted to create an online journal to talk about the things I cared about. I was already doing that on Facebook, but I was like, hmm, what if I can create my own space to do that? And so that's how Circumspect was born, from a love of travel and exploration and a passion for Ghana and Africa. Hmm, good to know. What's your guilty indulgence? Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what laptop do you use? And tell us the precise specs. Okay, so I use a MacBook Pro Retina 2015 edition. Um, I'm going to actually read the specs because I do not know it off the top of my head. Um, so the processor is a 2.7 gigahertz Intel Core i5. Memory is 8 gigabytes, but that's something that I really should have bought a larger size because I'm already struggling with that. Definitely um, you need to upgrade. Yes, I do. In one way or the other. In one way or the other. The <laughs> next one's going to have more space. <laughs> well, gender wage gap is real. True or false? I think it's true in some contexts, yes. Okay. Twitter versus Facebook, Facebook versus Instagram. It's Which one is your favorite? It's a tie for Instagram and Twitter. What's one thing that scares you the most about the future? Oh, one thing that scares me the most about the future is that we might lose our humanity. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> Recite one kindergarten poem you remember. <laughs> oh, God. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, his fleece was white as snow. Do I have to continue? No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I like that. Um, this is your last 23.3 question. Okay. And that is, it's close to the end of 2019. How far are you with your goals you set for the year? Have you accomplished them or are some left? Uh, well, I'm sure there's still some left, but I think I've made a lot of headway. Um, and I'm already excited for 2020, inshallah. Oh, thank you so much, Jamila, for spending time with us. Thank we you are for really having me. Glad for your answers, and definitely we'll come some other time with more 23.3 questions. Sure thing. Lovely sure. having you. Enjoy your day. You Bye. too. Take care.